Hi, today I'm going to go through with you the periodic table. Now, many of you will wonder, well, the periodic table is just a piece of paper that's found behind all our exam paper. Well, 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 you are wrong because today, I'm going to teach you the power of this entire paper. This periodic table has more than just a piece of paper. It will become your best friend in GCE O-Level exam. So stay tuned and watch. Well, as you can see over here, you have a periodic table right in front of you. Now, first of all, before I move on further, could you quickly find out for me the element called sodium? Well, by now you should know that my name is spelled as Selena, S-E-L-E-N-A. Many people will call me by the name of Miss Nana, N-A. So can you find this element, N-A? I'm sure you can find it. Yes, very good. You can find this uh, element, N-A. Now you notice that N-A doesn't represent uh, Nana. It represents sodium. So if you see the, on your periodic table, there's this word called key over here. And the key will tell you exactly what each of the number and the symbol represent. Well, you can see that they also say that the atomic symbol. So Na represents your symbol for sodium. Okay, and the number on top 11 is known as proton and atomic number. And 23 here actually represent relative atomic mass. Okay, this is what the use of the key for. Second thing that I want you to take note. When you take the periodic table, remember to draw the staircase. Staircase start from your right side, take two steps. Reach LV store, climb staircase, climb staircase, climb staircase. What is the purpose of a staircase again? Is to, is to separate your metals to the non-metals. Okay, men, from now on, you are known as the metals. And ladies, we are the non-metals. So whenever I refer to metals, I'm talking about the men. Remember that, okay? Now, another thing that I want you to take note, can you see on top of the periodic table, there's Roman character. Okay, what does this, all this Roman character represent? They actually represent your group, okay? The vertical row, the vertical row are actually your group, okay? So how many groups are there? We have group one, group two, and then go straight to group three, four, Five, six, seven, and group zero. Now, from now, you will say that, hey, but how about the one in the middle, Miss Selena? Well, they have a special name. They are called your transition metals. Okay? Now, so you learn about the key. You learn about the ladder, which is the staircase. You also learn about the group. The last thing that I want to show you is none other than, can you see the horizontal row? Okay, this is the blue color is the first horizontal row. All right. Then the second blue is also a second horizontal row. Now, the horizontal row, we name them as period. Okay, period. Now, so how many periods are there in the periodic table? The first period is none other than your hydrogen and helium. The second period is lithium, beryllium. Boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluoride, and neon. So, you learn four things together with me today. You learn how to use the key that will tell you the symbol, the atomic number, and the relative atomic mass. You also learn the drawing of staircase that will separate your metals from your non-metals. You also learn that the vertical row are known as my groups. So, there are eight groups in total. And you also learn that the period are the horizontal row. Okay, did you get that? Well, as I said, for all the periodic table that I'm going to teach you, it's only for you to use in your GCE O-Level exam. Now, you must bear in mind that there's a lot of periodic table in the world and there are different ways of representing them. But you do not need to be afraid because there's always the key which is found in any periodic table. Or I can, you can also find their legend and they will tell you exactly which number represent what.